numbers from Encore, he wasn't, he didn't think he had uh, the right model or the models were not, he, he had to kind of look at the models differently. He didn't know whether he had the right model from you. I just got so off the phone. Oh, good. Good. Oh, good. awesome. Now will leave it to you. <laughs> let's, well, let's call a meeting to order, shall we? Uh, yeah, I'm here. Sorry, I'm late. Hi, uh, Gary. Okay. Hi. Barbara, not in. All right. Well, let's pound the gavel. Good morning, everybody. Good afternoon. <laughs> um, so I think this is, a, this is a fully official meeting, right? Um, and we have voting powers, which is very yep. exciting. Um, so uh, hopefully we can we can wrap up with a a, 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 a formal vote. This is legal, legally standing, at least in the eyes of town council. Um, so just kind of going through the the motions. I don't think we have any public comment uh, today, do we? Any commenters? in the queue, Perry? There is nobody in the queue. I did want to, uh, I did just get a um, text message from the town manager literally about five minutes ago. And um, he did say that they are going to have a workshop on Monday. And I asked, you know, how much, how much time would the committee be given? He says, really, only one of you need to appear. Yeah. And, and it's really just going to be telling them who, who we have picked. And uh, there doesn't really need to be a lot of explanation why, yeah. because they're already thoroughly impressed with the work that was done. <laughs> and, 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 trust, <laughs> and trust that everybody was thorough getting to yeah. that decision. Um, so yeah, he just said, he said there'll be a little bit of a workshop, uh, other things in the beginning. That one person may have to sit through, but then it, it'll be a quick, um, you know, question to them. And then he will ask the town council for their permission to move forward into uh, writing a contract with that company. And cool. That, that's, that's where we stand. I, I need to make this meeting as formal as possible because they're going to be getting the minutes of this meeting to go along with their meeting and I have to have these in tomorrow. So if we can keep it short, <laughs> short and formal, nice. we're good. <laughs> That's all I got. Sounds good. Well, we'll use all the official jargon we can possibly, you know, cram into it, um, you know, to make, to make it as outstanding as possible. Um, no, that's a great update. Thanks, Brian. Um, so yeah, so good. So, so Monday we give them, give them our, our recommendation. Uh, there's not going to result. There's there's much you don't, you don't probably don't need to do uh, to show them you know our massive um, analysis that we've done, um, but we have done some analysis. And thanks, Richard, uh, for doing uh, a bunch of that, um, especially since since uh, Tom has been kind of on on leave. Um, but yeah, Richard, you're about to say that you and Tom spoke about the the models um, that that we've been using. Um, and uh, any anything that you want to share on that front before we yeah, well, kind of, you know, um, proceed? You're probably aware that I sent an email out a few days ago saying that I had some questions about it. And um, uh, <laughs> Sam sent the sent this uh, response on to Tom and uh, not hearing back from him, I went ahead and I prepared a summary. And uh, let me share that with you now. Okay. Um, my host is disabled participant screen sharing. Okay, host. I think Perry. That's you. Now. I'm sorry, you can share. Uh, hang on a second. One participant, multiple participants. Who can share all participants? You should be able to share. Okay. You usually have to hit hit twice. You hit share screen and then there's a, a, a approve. There we go. Uh, there you go. All right. Um, and for observers, if you hit um, speaker view, you'll see it, you'll see it large. Yep. Everybody see it? Yes. Yeah. Right. But um, after our, after our last meeting, I went through the encore. Now I went through the encore analysis and looked at the others as well. But I concentrated on encore. 
And um, there was a question I had that indicated possible corrections for option one that we're looking at, which is a fixed price with inflator, Encore keeps the Rex. The question was specifically was the, what the PPA price for the 20 year Rex to Encore was what was included. Um, so when I, what I've done is I went ahead and I um, uh, looked at the analysis and this is out of the, this is a page out of the, uh, out of the Encore analysis tab. And let me walk you through this. Can you see my, mm -hmm. my uh, cursor here? Yep. Yep. Right. So what was this number here? was 0 0.070, okay? And that didn't make sense to me. And so I went back and, and of course this follows through with, um, with a lot of the different calculations, but we're primarily interested in, in this one down here, fixed price with inflator, because this is the one we've been looking at. So I went back through the analysis, through the, through the Encore work, and what happened was, uh, in the Encore eight, uh, April 16th uh, submission, they included a topping up from Brooks project in their proposal. And this is from page seven of that proposal. And in that presentation, of course, you see the PPA for Brooks at 0 0.07, but the PPA rate for the landfill was 0 0.0926. I just got off the phone with Tom and he concurs that, yep, the wrong number was entered. So what the original analysis for Encore should have been was instead of the, instead of what was um, included in the analysis of 0 0.070, it should have been 0 0.0926. So that would have changed a lot of the numbers, obviously. So, um, I looked at that, uh, and of course, that would have significant changes on our opinion from the standpoint of the savings. But I looked at the uh, revised revision that we got from Encore um, um, yesterday, and I included those revisions, and they changed things significantly. And typically, what it did was they changed their their install capacity from ten. Uh, from what um, 875 KWAC to 1000 to one megawatt, and they changed the DC capacity from 1030 to 1230. And then that also changed their production. It was uh, 1.293 million, that changed to 1.8. Fourth, one, 1.483, all right? And they also changed their inflator from 2% to 1.5%, okay? And you see that in, this is the, this is their revision that they just sent. I took these numbers, revised numbers, and put them back in the uh, analysis sheet. Okay, and the net effect was that is that of course the savings from Encore is less than what we were thinking it was going to be, but these changes made, you know, brought a lot of those savings back from what this the error from 0 0.07 would have caused. Because that alone would have changed it from 0 0.07 would have gone to 0 0.0926, which is might have put Encore out of the running. All right, so I went ahead and I made those changes. And this is the result of those changes for the uh, four finalists that we had summarized. And so I went back and I looked at the graphs, regraphed it. If you look at the annual production, um, HEP is still leading. Um, Encore dropped, uh, actually increased. They were quite, they were quite a bit lower than this before they made the increase. So they come come closer to the, to the others. And if anybody wants to want me to slow down, just say so and I'll look, give you time to look at these. Yep. The CapEx, uh, 
Encore, you know, since they haven't changed their price, they've got no indication of their price, their CapEx actually got even better. Now, I question whether that's that... Right. What's that? That's what I was going to ask about, because their production went up, and rating went up substantially, and their CapEx was unchanged? Well, they, they didn't say that it changed, okay? I, I found no information. In their thing that they sent uh, yesterday, I saw no indication that they changed their CapEx. It, it may have, though, because they may have, if they added, did they, they added more panels, right? I don't know. They, they probably did because they specified yeah. in the past, they didn't specify what acreage they're using. Yeah. There's no question that that CapEx is really low. Um, so I think they probably meant to change the, the CapEx price too. Um, I'm not sure at the end of the day that's going to be, uh, but anyway, that, 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 that's, that looks like it's close to a buck 10 or something, right? A watt. Yes, that's right. Uh, yeah. And and um, I, I think that you, that you that's unrealistic with with everything else, especially when they're putting in a two hundred thousand dollar allowance for transmission. So yeah, I think the capex should be um, probably higher. Yeah, quite a bit higher. But then it's interesting it, because next grid in Amoresco's is is about the same. And yeah, we know it's got a very high price, and they're sort of the outlier. Yeah, it's kind of strange, isn't it, that way? Yeah, yeah. They didn't change their buyout prices, though, did they? Because that's you can imply the CapEx from that, because that's actually got to cover their cost of equipment as they depreciate. I think their fair market value, though, I think, uh, uh, Encore, that's uh, the problem. Uh, yeah, they didn't yeah. actually give a number. Yeah, you didn't get a number. Yeah, that. and the fair market value of a buyout um, would be based on the future revenues and costs of the facility. So... Hmm. It might not matter what the capex is. Right. Well, in a way, it doesn't matter anyway to a certain point, as you can yeah. say, say, Carrie. Yeah, I agree. It's one of the least problems. Uh, yeah. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Uh, you know, last time we discussed what their their ratio. Of, somebody mentioned what the ratio of their buyout to their to their um, capex was, and it theirs was reasonable. It was yeah. Within the ballpark, and. Um, uh, next grid was was really not reasonable. It was way low. Yeah. And um, so, even if Encore raises it, they they probably would make it. You know, probably be more in line with. It's probably mm -hmm. still be reasonable. Whether or not we should go back and ask them for that, that's you know maybe something we should follow up on. By our price. But then we look at the annual the savings. Yeah. Um, the changes, uh, they came in, they, they came in second, which before they, before they gave their offer today, they were quite a bit worse. But right now, the way it stands is they're just behind HEP. And HEP, we were ruling out based on some of their other problems, right? Not their pricing. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Then, if you look at the NPV, the savings, you know, for the 20 year, basically mm -hmm. it's the same, same story as we thought. Right. So, um, you know, the, the change here, of course, is that uh, before this, Encore was ahead of HEP. And with the changes, they're, they're no longer greater than HEP. No, so HEP has the eight, eight cent, really. The, the, the down and dirty, Richard, is that HEP has an, an, an eight cent. Um, uh, with with 1.5 Escalade and these guys in, in in this particular option are 8.9 whatever with the same escalator and that's really the down and dirty difference right there. Uh, I think one of the important takeaways here is that you know uh, with the changes, um, you know it's it's we're going to the town I think with better numbers than we were before. So. Mm. Um, and then this is just the, uh, the project costs and the buyouts we've seen before. And of course, um, next grid price down here, um, that price, of course, uh, includes the rooftop on the DPW. So we're not sure. So these numbers might change as well. And they only gave the future, future uh, market value for their buyout. So, so Encore did have a 1.3 mil. I didn't realize that. Okay. My, my mistake. That's, that's going to make things look really well. 
really good in the seven years. But they came back. They came back and they qualified that by saying that it had to be uh, a future market value. Uh, so they uh, yeah. That okay. Yeah. I, I thought I thought I was crazy. <laughs> so um, I've got the I've got the, the tree stuff here. I got to look at that too. But so anyway, summarizing. Uh, it's unknown how Amoresco's results would change if they took out this point half an acre of tree removal. Yeah. Was eliminated. Next grid is still got a non-conforming numbers. Uh, it's, the number is not compatible because they still have the rooftop DPW array. Uh, HEPs, HEPs capital is high, so the cost might change on their buyout. They specified their capital cost is 274. And their buyout that they gave us was 1494, which gives us a buyout ratio of 0 0.55, which is well below what you people discussed was reasonable last meeting. Good point. Good point. So, um, Encore's July 15 bid revision largely offset the financial issues with the previous analysis, I think. Mean. Mm -hmm. And I just got off the phone with Tom, and we talked mm -hmm. about the changes. And um, he thinks what was done here is right. Okay. Okay. So he agrees with those changes. And I asked him, I said, well, think about it. <laughs> and if you have second thoughts, let us know. Yeah, yeah. Good idea. Good point. So, um, the question, does this change our overall evaluation for Encore? Well, let me ask you a question, Rich, before you go on to that. We have a second alternative with these guys, too, which has actually increased their, from a 29.5 to, I think, a 31% discount rate, too, right? Uh, that's if we go back to what? If we, um, option two? Option two, but that was... What is that option two? That's uh, I didn't look at that. Well, it's 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 a uh, an interesting uh, again. It's a it's a different possibility, and they, they and and they and from that point of view, they I didn't know what. So you didn't you never evaluated that the discount rate versus the uh, PPA rate. We've been we've been looking at option one, and I just just looked at option one because um, it's apples with apples. Yes. Uh, this is here. Okay. So this is what they yes. See, look at the, look so at the two, 31 percent discount off the off the tariff rate. Uh, again, the, if if you look at if you look at if everybody wants to go with the option one, uh, that's it. Good. I think really uh, that was part of the discussion I wanted to get. Go I was assuming that Encore was 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 a selection, so that that kind of wasn't couldn't have been assumed. But um, I wanted to look at both of those. If that that were the, was the case, then what is the difference between the two, and why would you choose one over the other? Okay, and, and I, I love think that. That's, yeah. So if, we, if we select the option, if we just select Encore, yeah, um, and um, uh, then it's just a matter of whether we choose option one or option two, we can do that later. I guess. That should be analyzed. Um, inside. Yes and no. They are two different. Uh, it's almost, Richard, yeah, I, I'd say you, you can do that, but we have a workshop coming Monday. Um, and and uh, I think Sam at one point wanted to leave that up to them. I don't know. There are two different approaches here, okay? Um, option run, of course, runs runs with uh, – option two is based, based on um, – a flo floating rate base, you know, so it, it, it really smacks of something really different. It says, okay, tariff rate goes up, you're getting that the same discount. Tariff rate goes down, you're getting the discount based on that particular tariff rate. So there are, there are, there are two ways of looking at this thing. Um, as I mentioned the other, other week, and I think it's really important, um, if you, if everybody believes that the pricing will move up, and I'll get with the yard, you're thinking, John, as well. If the pricing goes up, then definitely looking at a um, 
PPA rate, whether it be an escalator or not, is, is an advantage. If, if one believes that the, the rates over the next, maybe just seven years, is not gonna go significantly up, maybe, then the, the, the discount rate has it by, by far. But it completely different ways of looking at it. Um, in addition, a discounted rate is a completely risk adverse process, okay? Where you never can go underwater under any circumstance. Um, John put, made a point that he thinks that um, the PPA rates are better for a future loan. I'm, I'm not sure. That's that's. I think John, you want to articulate that because I know you had a had a thought well, on that one. Well, I was just saying that if you you know what your fixed payments are going to be, you can calculate it now on a fixed rate. And if you compare that to what the buyout price, you can use their seven-year buyout price. If the town was going to bond out that buyout price and compare that with the, the following year's PPA price, my recollection was given, you know, what municipal rates, interest rates have been, you're significantly to the better to take the seven-year buyout and replace the PPA payment. And you know that for sure yeah. on the fixed rate. Okay. Okay. Okay, I see, I see. Okay, well, all right, so so now you've got some factors, and I don't want to complicate things, but they are, they are two different directions in many ways. Well, somebody somebody other than me is gonna to have to make that evaluation. Yeah. I don't feel, I don't feel qualified. Well, it's not, it's not really a, um, when I did that table the other day, it's really about how you feel about this in a way, okay, how you think about it, especially if we were going 20 years, um, that particular um, trend going up would be very might be very significant. At seven years, it may not be significant. You might be better off with a, a discount rate. So it's really how you look at that. And and so it's not that you, Richard, do you have to make a decision or not? You, you know, what you're saying is it's not based on the charts that you have presently. Okay. And so if we make a decision one way or another, it's based on kind of the argument we think is going to happen and what we think is the best best for for the town as well but i'm not qualified to make a make an evaluation to compare the two was um was there a concern about having um cost um i don't know what to call it cost certainty mm -hmm. isn't that something john you raised in the previous meetings that it would be I, generally believe that particularly for a, uh, a government entity like a town um, as a um, usually the cost the cost between uh, fixed and, and variable is priced for a private market um, towns have much greater utility in a fixed price contract because they are only able to raise money once a year and there's a real bonus to knowing certain of your costs are not going up they're going to be fixed so, so let me ask the question, uh, and again, I don't have a, a stake in this thing either way, because uh, again, it, it, I think we'd be fine either way. But um, let me ask you, um, since at the end of that particular time, there's no contract, theoretically, right? There's no PPA, um, that you're, you're basically relying on whatever forecasting you're doing, um, does it really matter as much? In other words, uh, that I mean, I just just a question for you. In other words, well, okay, you've sold the pro. Let's say you're buying the project, right? Well, yeah. at that particular time, there is no no PPA. Yes, there is no. Okay, there is no. You're starting from a base price, which is the buyout price, and you're going on and you're putting you're calculating based on uh, the the, the Rex. And, and the cost of the, the new basis for um, cost, okay? So it's strictly really about whether it's a million four, a million three, a million five, and then going from there, putting your O&M and all that, okay? Um, so um, I don't know where, and please explain this to me, because I don't know where it matters at the point of buyout, since there really is no, there is no, PPA period at that point. It's about the buyout cost. 
Right, but what, so what you're, what you're doing is you're just switching the costs of paying the rest of the PPA, the remaining 13 years of the PPA. Right. For a 10 or 15 year bond at the cost of the buyout. Right, so it's the buyout that matters as the basis, right? Yes. So it doesn't matter whether you have a PPA for seven years at 31% discount or, no. uh, again, I, unless I've missed something. Or, no. Uh, no, the, or, the, having a buyout option also is, is a hedge against guessing wrong on option one and two, because you're going to be able to get out of it seven years regardless. That's right. When, yeah, and, and when really, they're evaluating the fair market value at the time of the, in seven years, will hmm. it matter which of these contracts we have? Because no. no. No, it doesn't. It, 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 uh, well, it, it would like when it we do valuation. If there's a PPA, yeah. then I would value it based on the PPA, and so it would matter. Like, I don't think there's any way to know now, but knowing which one would be a better value for the town would be good. Like, if you guessed right, it would mean <laughs> that the project was worth less. Hmm. Um, but you you probably ought to be valuing it not on what the um because you're not selling the PPA you're buying the asset the question would be what will be the fair market value of that electricity that it can generate on the open market today that would oh, be the but right they way. have a PPA so like if Encore was to sell it to another entity not mm -hmm. the town they would be able to sell it right but what they're selling is the contract not the underlying asset I think. They're selling their contract rights. I'm saying if you're buying the asset, the mark, the market value of that asset, not the contract, the right. contract we're buying out of, right, is what is right. the value? Yeah, of the it's kind of a weird. Asset. It's it's a no, weird thing. True. Yeah, it's what, a weird thing that way. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, and, and so that's exactly what I'm saying. I don't know what what the what it matters which way from as, as a factor. Which Look, I, what. I, what is the current value? What is the current rate again? Do you guys remember? That's what I was asking. I'm gonna ask. What's the current median median tariff rate? The median tariff rate, like it's, right uh, now. Twelve point uh, seven, twelve point seven nine two or something. It's it, it's uh, yeah, it's about twelve point seven something. Let me let me get one out. I I got I've got it in one of my notes somewhere. Um. Yeah, let's see if I can get out of here. Let's see if I can. Being used right now is, uh, I think it, CMP right here is. Yeah, there it is. Uh, one, two, seven, five, one, nine, seven. Five, nine, seven. Yeah. One, one, two, seven, nine, five, seven? Yeah, yeah. Seven. See, if you want to buy seven, out in five, seven nine, years, seven. John, and, 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 and and Carrie, it, it, it actually, even the PPA rate is going to be pretty low because it's based on an inflator. Um, both are going to look pretty good <laughs> at this point. If you if you start getting into higher numbers, and the and the, the tariff rates don't go up, then that's going to cost a lot more. Um, uh, th th those those numbers could look a lot worse. But in seven years, the good news is that you you're not you probably won't have as much movement. A seven year period. So, yeah, so it's a 32% discount. Yeah, they've gone up on that one too, by the way. Yeah. Well, well, that's what they're, that's what the current, the rate is this year. Yep. And then what is the, what is their offer? Sorry, I was 31% of the discount. 31%. So yeah. you're right. So if, I mean, if, if rates go up with inflation, you're better off doing the number, the yeah, yeah. 8.79. And if they yeah. go up slower than inflation by, you know, basically if they go up slower than 1.5%, you're better right. off doing the discount. So I think we're probably better off doing the, um, the number rate, okay. the okay. 8.79, but I, <laughs> No, no, you yeah, made a true. point. You made a very good point. And again, I, I think, I, 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 but you can see where there's a little bit of a guess in this thing, especially over a short period of time, like five or seven yeah, years. Yeah, no, it's definitely, yeah. it's definitely a guess. And um, yeah. we do all kinds of energy price forecasting. And I have to say that all the work that I do, um, I don't, obviously I haven't done an analysis on this project, but 
I don't think I would have a better guess if I did one. <laughs> well, it is. It's hard. It's hard. <laughs> and you know, this is the only the only state that's that, that where there were. I mean, I first started looking at the offers that going off descriptions. Perry, I saw a lot of uh, PPAs with, with with escalators. Okay, but as the time goes on, I'm getting a lot, seeing a lot more of the discount rates coming in, and I don't know why. Okay, but you don't even you see that offer anywhere else but in the state like that with the discount rate. So, so to an extent, what it what it is, the discount rate is a hedge for the developer a bit, um, because if you look at it when you work it through the current price, the the flat rate is a little bit above what they're showing in their fixed cost price. But the fixed cost price has a fixed escalator. Mm -hmm. And what that 1.5 or 2% is, is roughly what the long run, run range of electricity prices have probably been. Something mm -hmm. around those. Mm -hmm. I, think that, I think I agree with that. And so, so what they're doing is that, you know, um, the, 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 they don't want to take the risk of, you know, of going the wrong direction on electricity prices either. So they're, they're happy to float, and then and so that's how they can give a fixed price and a, and a, and a you know um, a variable price. Okay. Well, you know, again, I, I, I again, I can, I think both are are good. They're going to save us some money. I could go either way. Sam, you you wanted to talk about the idea of you, know, you had a little different thinking than I did about giving them a a specific offer by or floating both of them but by the uh is that something you want to talk about at all well i don't know i was just thinking there was like does the town inherently have a preference between a dis discount rate or a fixed ppa rate um you know it's like it and it's just it, you know they kind of want us to say all right this is definitely the you know the one um but you know in my mind like all right should we you know kind of let them decide really between these two I these are like you know two really good solid choices um give them pros and cons of each and you know say hey it's in your hands um but um but i don't know i mean you know i'd be curious to know if the town has an inherent preference you know they haven't expressed it to us but they have a preference over a discount or a fixed uh fixed rate i think that would be very new, new to them I <laughs> the last they were very much leaning towards a fixed price Okay. That was what I recall. Okay. We're, so, we're so discussing the different options, but so John Kerry, are you comfortable with the fixed price? I, so I I'm am. Hearing, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I am. Okay. I, you know, again, I, I'm I'm fine. I, uh, I I think the only other thing about the discount that I like the other thing was that Encore is the only by far and away offered the best discount price, as opposed to it didn't distinguish itself in that in the other in that way so much better. Okay, so let's let's make a decision. I mean, unless so I'm just pulling through this thing. The last chart that Richard showed, Richard, the chart you had with the bar chart that had all the um, all the projects and the savings. I think it was the savings to the town. Annual savings or NPV? Yep. Yeah, e either one. So it looked like when we were talking last time, I was under the impression we thought. We had some issues with HEP because of their lack of experience in the U.S. Yeah. And then I thought that we thought NextGrid was one of our top choices, but here it looks like it's uh, Encore versus Amoresco. Yeah. Well, NextGrid, but the, let's, let's talk purely numbers here. If you look at the, the price of NextGrid, it was 0 0.08, it's just 8 flat with a 1.5% escalator. That's a big difference right there. Okay. Well, so, um, so go so, back to the how how is how is Encore winning then? So if you go to is it just because of a greater um, a a greater uh, amount of kilowatt hours? Yeah, that changed a lot. That helped a lot. Well, look at yeah, that's right, right there. Yeah, yeah. They yeah. jumped their kilowatts by like twenty percent. Um, there it was. That's it. Exactly, Carrie. Yeah, the the best fixed rate definitely is is next grids. This was should, yeah. One point three and almost one point five now. 
of like 15% increase in, in their production. And then if you look at the uh, Next year is 1.1 kilowatt production, even though the price is, is uh, attractive. Right. They're only at. I can raise, I can increase, I can show the. Um, Next year is 0 0.08, 0 0.08. Yeah, but that's not much the difference anymore in that. Right. And the production is way down. Yeah. But the two if you take off, once you take off the rooftop, before, yeah. we, of course, we, we had a rooftop in there before. Yeah. yeah. 8.38 versus 1.4. That's where the difference is. Yeah. That's true. That's it. Definitely. What's this? Definitely. Yeah. It's too bad we can't get the lower price for a bigger project. Usually, I, I try, I try. usually they go together. <laughs> I, I tried, Carrie. I call. I talked to Jesse over at Encore, and I said, "You need to be down around. You need to be down by." And I twisted his arm, and he came down some. You see, he didn't come out down that much, but he did. So, uh, so I. I would, my, my own recommendation would be a couple of things. One of which is, I think we only have good options. I think all, that really speed is, is our, our uh, delay is our enemy at this point. Mm -hmm. um, I think a fixed, a fixed price contract and, uh, you know, a simple pro landfill only project that, uh, you know, as easy as possible, the best land use, the simplest, simplest to understand, the simplest to budget for, Send it in, forget it, and hopefully buy, buy it out in a, with a bonding issue in, in seven years. Um, and to me, it's less like make a, the economics look promising, the, the provider looks solid. Um, I, you know, I think we got to just the faster we can go, the better. I, uh, I'd be comfortable saying the same thing about Amoresco for whatever reason Encore fell over, but I still think Encore looks better at this point. Yeah. Yeah, well, price-wise, Amoresco didn't didn't do the job I thought they were going to do. I'm now, um, yeah. All right, so you know, I I I have no problem with with the fixed price. This is what we're looking at: fixed price with inflator. That's right. With the seven, with the July fifteenth offer. Mm -hmm. That's correct. And and we feel safe. I mean, we, we we feel safe again eliminating HEP just because you know they're uh, you know they're 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 you know their work in the U.S. basically is is not existing. Well, but it also I Sam's HEP point. wasn't the lowest price anyway. So so you know it. Uh, I think we were really. I, I was. I think uh, there were some things about next grid that we really didn't. Um, uh, uh, there were some issues. So I, I like issues with this with HEP. Yeah, and have mm -hmm. so. Yeah, I think we're. I think we're fine. I think we we did come into this meeting thinking that on grid was a good was a real solid citizen here in terms of <laughs> what they did. Yeah, I, I think on core. You mean yeah? Yeah, on yeah. Grid. yeah. Yeah. When I say on grid, well, I'm, 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 I do. I'm, I'm doing hybrids. <laughs> Jeez, on grid. I know. Yeah, <laughs> let me confuse you more. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So we'll, we feel comfortable going with with you know Encore fixed PPA. Um, you know their 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 rate may not be necessarily the best for any number of reasons. But again, kind of, you know once you put your feet in the basket, in the, the day, you know Encore still has kind of the, the best overall yeah. Yeah. offering. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do we all agree with that? Yes. No motion. I'll make it. Yeah. Uh, if you want. <laughs> go ahead. Good motion. Uh, go ahead, Barbara. No, go ahead, John. <laughs> I, I, I mean, we, we recommend oh the town go forward and pursue a contract with Encore for a, a 
20 year uh, fixed rate with escalator PPA. And potential buyout. Yeah, sounds good. Yeah. I, I have the luxury of playing this back and seeing it up twice, so. <laughs> <laughs> I'll second. And I'll you, okay. I, got, as as I got a lot to learn anyway, you know? <laughs> but we all have oh a God. lot to learn. It's okay. It's okay. We, we come from different places, that's for sure. Yeah. But we did all right in this one. Okay. Do we have uh, all in favor? Yeah. Yeah. Hi. 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 Uh, you Hi. Should... All right. Yeah, he's listening to somebody. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. We, we Tom won't told me that if he found any problems, Tom indicated that he found any problems, he'd let me know. So I think we're. Yeah. Yeah. The analysis okay. Is okay. So, uh, he's, uh, he's back in. Yeah. He, he should be here. Well, yeah. Well, well, after after we've selected Encore, and assuming the town okay's it and everything, we do we then invite Tom back on the committee? Yeah, I think he's. Uh, yeah, yeah, I yeah. Think he has to. He well, first he has to go to the halfway house, and then back here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah Tom he, is Tom is back on as, as soon as as soon as we communicate this to the uh, the town officially. Um, we've made our choice. Then we can welcome Tom back, you know, with with, with open arms. Well, when's the um, workshop, we've, we've, done our, we've done our due diligence. <laughs> when's the workshop, Perry? Monday. It is Monday. Uh, I don't have a time yet. I don't know if it's officially been posted. Yeah. But I'll. Uh, I, I believe I'll be talking to town manager tomorrow. He's been. They've been interviewing for a new public works director, so he's been tied up hmm. to part of the week. You gonna do that, Sam Milton? Uh, yeah, I can be there on Monday. Absolutely. Right. Let me know if you need okay. anything. All right. Sounds yeah, good. I yeah, mean, I, don't I, Sam, are you guys still calling in from um, a far away? I'll be local. Okay. Yeah, and I, everybody's welcome to join. It's just they really only need one person to. Right, right. To right. It. It, it, it was just he, he might want and wanted a little more su um, support if he wasn't going to be able to video in. That's all. So. Yeah, no, I can video in. Yeah, I'll just, I, I won't be ha doing the hack job again. So it's not often we get to recommend a, a NPV project to the town for a million, you know, close to a million bucks. So I'm, they, sh they should be happy. Um, you guys are certainly all welcome to, to, to join on, you know. Um, but yeah, that's going to be great, and we can begin begin to actually kind of get the thing done. So, um, yeah, thanks to, come to, to, to all of you for your, your, your work on this and, um, and Richard, your analysis and Sam, your, your great insights and, and Karen and Barbara for your, your good questions and John for your, um, your, your town expertise and kind of fiscal, fiscal work. There you go. We, um, we're getting... You know, and uh, yeah, I think, I think this is, this is cool. So, um, yeah, in the end, with a great, great time, you know, policy, policy opening, you know, because you know, right here, um, and then Carrie, your 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 work in kind of building stuff was really helpful, helping us to understand kind of all these moving pieces. Um, so yeah, first thing, you know, we'll get this. So yeah, Monday we'll recommend uh, the the town take Encore's um, PPA um, con um, uh, proposal um, and get it done. And then and then I think maybe at our next meeting we can discuss, you know, kind of. You know, how to kind of fill the you know fill, fill the gap um, yep. in the, the town's usage, and also perhaps I have to advantage some of these you know solar fields that are popping up all over, you know, in the in the woods of Maine, um, <laughs> to offer offer some discounts to our our town um, quick, to our, our our citizens. Quick question. Um, yeah. Couple couple. What what is um, how can or should the town rely on the energy committee's expertise during the negotiation process? Because I think there is some here and they may want to cap it. We ought to think about how we want to do that. Um, and then I think you're right about once we know what, what, what excess electrical appetite we have, both within the town and possibly to aggregate locally, we ought to be bidding into some of these projects. Yeah. No yeah. doubt about it. Could Encore it. offer uh, for us to do? Um, yeah. Uh, 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 I think that was, that was, they talked about. 
Right. Yeah. When I was floating, Barbara, when I was floating to them the other day, they, they kind of had a little bit of, I, I, I went beyond the fact that, that maybe just supplementing our energy. We, I was a little bit concerned that we wouldn't be building this thing for quite a while based on where we are, you know, not even in the, in the uh, queue yet, um, that uh, maybe we need to supplement, not only supplement the excess, but supplement the, 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 all of the energy for a while until it gets built. Um, so we need to flow to whomever. Uh, Encore had a problem with that, by the way. They, they, they didn't want to give us a subscription for the, uh, the amount of energy that's sold from as if they were building it and then take that back and sell it somewhere else after the solar farm was built. So I, I, it's not that there's Encore in particular, but it, it's kind of defining a, a possible problem. We need to probably go out and talk about this to our potential suppliers, whether they'll even do that. Because, because otherwise, we're sitting here uh, with whatever uh, a, a, a megawatt or so a product of, of uh, projects waiting to get our discount on that part of it where we might be able to get uh, something from the beginning or when the first solar farms are built. Uh, this is what they said from Brooks, if you remember. It's what they gave us in April. Yeah, uh, but, but you know something, Richard? I've had a, a lot of experience lately about that kind of thing. And things, the landscape keeps changing every week. Um, a lot of the guys, so when you talk about Encore or Next Grid, especially, um, they came in on the, on the first wave and they got through a lot of the problems that came out. Uh, so, some of these companies um, in the next wave wasn't even that far up. They, they got involved not only in DEP issues, they got involved in cluster studies and being behind the queue and studies in the queue that took a longer time. Um, projects that, that had even minor upgrades that, that CMP can't get to for, for six months or a year. So tr I'm just translating and saying it, th there's a worst case scenario out there, which it's hard to predict. Okay, at this point, when you're not even starting to get into the queue, you know, with a project, okay, uh, it's really such a slippery slope. I think, Carrie, you understand this. Um, when you look at the SMART program or anywhere else, you start going down the road a little bit and things change really fast, not in the right direction sometimes. So, in, in, so we don't have to sit on our hands and worry about that prediction it would be nice if we could get some, some, all this energy and save money right away as soon as the first wave of solar farms get built, okay? And the next grids and the, and the, and the um, encores are in that, they've got a bunch of them in the first wave, as do some others that we haven't had bid it on, by the way, okay? If that makes sense to you. Uh, Sam, I've got a question for you. Um, since the numbers are now different than what the last batch they've seen, I think specifically the savings are not as great as what we present before. Uh, should, uh, for record, for the record, should those new numbers be shown or documented or given to the town so they know what to expect? Yes. I, I think that we can just give a brief overview of how the shortlist sorted itself out. And that everybody's bids changed a little bit, some less than others, but this is the final sort and this is the final numbers. Yeah, I'm not sure if all the backup is necessary. I mean, that might just be, be confusing, but, or if that's part of the record that we should, you know, present that. Um, but maybe Perry can- no, I'm just saying just, just these two, these, these two are the only charts that they've seen. The yep. average annual, and this is yep. what's changed. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's all they need to see. Um, the, no. Richard, I, I, I was going to ask you before the meeting ended, but now you opened the door for me. Could I have any documents you presented tonight uh, in a PDF format emailed to me? Yep. Yeah. And, and, you know, if there's anything that you want to throw in that might help explain with it, because I believe what they're going to do is they're going to take our meeting minutes 
and any documents we hand them and they'll review them as part of the presentation on their own. Mm -hmm. it, it, you know, if they so choose, if they if they have questions, uh, those those that understand this will <laughs> review it. <laughs> uh, should I should I include should I include our mistakes? <laughs> I, you can leave Let's those out if you want. Here. No, I know you're gonna leave that one out. Yeah. yeah. Who is, by the way, who is Brooks? Brooks is a project. Yeah. It's like it's their, project. It's their oh. landfill project. It's an well, no, it's a it's a farm. Greenland greenfield project that they've got going. Okay, so that's the that's what they were going. Okay, okay, I got it. Okay, good. Yeah. Hey, you know something? I love short meetings, don't you? Great. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe so I'll be the I will, hey guys, um, I, I got to double on down. Great work, everybody. I mean, lots of analysis, yeah. and, and you know, it's it's good. I think we came out really well. Yeah. As you say, we couldn't pick losers tonight. It was it was all winners, no matter what. I will. Um, the other thing that that you should know, um, I will take out all the the explanation stuff and just send results. Okay, sure. to you, Perry. Yeah. No, I think that's great. The other thing, if you look at the uh, ranking analysis that was done, one of the things that should be changed, and I, 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 I've gone through it, but I have no sense distributing it. Um, there's a lot of cases where within a given company, they had different ranks for something. For instance, if you looked at Amoresco for financial ranking, he's got, mm. he's got there are different numbers for within Amoresco. So mm. you know, one of the things I did is I went back and I made all the numbers within a given category for a given company mm -hmm. the same for that company. Mm. So if you go through that analysis, because production and cost saving has such an impact on it, it doesn't change things that much, but it does change things. So before I wouldn't use Tom's numbers specific just as they are out of his Virgin Forest spreadsheet because they're not totally correct. So if we want to do some, if you want to see any ranking, let me know specifically, and I'll send it to you. I'll send the corrected versions to you. Okay. 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 You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. All right. Richard, they were based on different size projects that Amoresco had. Is that what that that was about? No, no. It, it's, um, Give me an example here. So, so just to be clear, um, I, I know some of those moved around, but the, the way I was always sort of viewing it was there was sort of a, a bar you needed to clear, and it was not necessarily a strict ranking one, two, three. It was like, did they really pass muster in terms of um, f financial experience, et cetera, as opposed to, you know, I don't need the biggest bank. I need a bank that's big enough. And, you know, is that, um, and so while well, some of those numbers may have moved around, I, I'm not sure that that, that that sort of tier analysis is affected at all. Can I just give you a, say, I understand what I'm talking about. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it'd be great, because you have eight Amorescos there, right? <laughs> if you look at, if you look at, um, the financial. Um. Financial, um, oh, I'm going to go back to the others. I'm sorry. Richard, quick, quick question. What did you degrade the production by per year when you did your modeling? Degrade the production? Yeah. Did you, what did you decrease production by per year? Do you remember? I, well, it's just in, in the, whatever they told us. I didn't, was oh, it in my 0. numbers? 0. 0.5. 0. 0.5? It was in their numbers. No, it'd, be, it'd probably be point zero zero five. Yeah, I mean half a half a percent. Sorry. Yeah. But Thank you. you know, also, also, um, John, they they go by their um, their module uh, warranties I, anyway, right? Yeah. They're gonna they're gonna go by that with, with plus a little bit of a cushion probably because they're they want to walk yeah. back on like production guarantees. Mm -hmm. so, yep. Yeah. 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 They're mostly pretty standard though. Where are you going with this, Richard? You find what you needed? Just a minute. All right. Hmm.
This was the version four that Tom sent out. And if you look at like um, Amoresco, financial ability, the numbers are different for different project for, for Amoresco. And I'm not sure why that would be. So I just, I corrected that and just made them all the same. Okay. Likewise, uh, for you, you, look, you go through other categories for external project, cost sharing, 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 et cetera. Some of those were different. And I said, you know, somewhat arbitrary, but uh, I sort of use an average value of you know, the time. External projects, Aresco, it's got four and three and others four. Well, I made them all four. And I revised okay. it. So just yes, be aware that of that sense. when you go back and you use the the, 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 the version that was really solved by Tom, that there's some changes that, that would be made. All right. Good. Anybody want to say anything else? Or can I stop sharing? Yeah, I think at the, at the end of the day, I mean, if we can confidently say that that you know encore you know provides a tremendous value to the town um you know and you know the the top top you know two or three however you know in kind of their aggregated scores you know we're all winners um you know that that you know we recommended the one that we think really provides you know top value um and a lot of these a lot of the the, the metrics and the measurements and the, the weights are all kind of you know um, our own exercise to try to, you know, identify the cream that rises to the top, um, you know, um, and uh, yeah, and I think, you know, I think, I think we, 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 we found those. Yeah, it's going to be, you know, um, you know, to tease out exactly kind of which variable, you know, is the, you know, brings one to a, a topper, a, an upper ranking over another, and like, how does that all shift? Um, you know, I don't know if that's, if we need to go to that right now. Um, since it's just our, our own kind of invention, really. But, um, but we justify, of course, our, our, our selection. Um, Sam, you got what you need. So whatever you, if you, you know, obviously we have enough stuff here, so it's good. See, the, the weighted is not going to change that much because the numbers are pretty much the same. So I can give you something like this that's still going to show Encore on top. And I made these changes when I did this. I think that's and the weighted average for Encore still usually comes up on top. Yeah, I think the 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 kind of the bar chart is perfect. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, and if they want if they want to see all the all the stuff that underlies it, then um, then they can they can look at it or not, you know. But um, I think well, I think we've made a very good choice here. Give them the spreadsheet, and they can do their own. <laughs> yeah, and then there's not a big difference between the uh, top two choices in the terms of the production size, and so that 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 would be the other factor to consider in terms of land. Of course, a little bit better on that too, I think. So, mm -hmm. so by the way, I ran the just briefly ran the numbers on the fix versus the the contract. If you if you're going to assume the the average increase in electric prices over the Life of the contract is going to be about one and a half percent. Um, fixed is a little bit better, not by a lot. So basically, um, you're getting the utility of a fixed price contract for the town for for you know, mm -hmm. actually at a little tiny little bit of a discount. Yeah, and John, the thing, the good news is, if you if you are going to sell out, you're getting the lower price at the beginning, for the or the the. Um, for the uh, in the one point five percent, so you probably be better off if that if that's if that's the if that's where you want to go on that one. Yep. 
So. Okay. Sounds like we we probably thrown that around a few times. We're good. I just wanted to, run it to make sure because someone asked and I, I didn't know the didn't know the number. We're endangering our kudos for a short meeting. Well, yep. Let's follow through. <laughs> Do we, anything else you need, Sam? Milton? Yeah, I think I think I'm I think I'm good. Um, this is fantastic. Um, so yeah, Perry, let let us know if there's anything you think we need to send um, in addition to the minutes and, and whatever Richard will send. Um, but I'll be there Monday. You guys are all welcome to, to join in. How, how uh, about the HEP, uh, I'm sorry, Sam. Uh, how about the HEP proposal? We wanna include that? The, the, the last one we just received. When did you receive it? The, uh, what was it, the 15th? No, that's really? the day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was a few few days ago. I, I'm sorry, not HEP, on, Encore. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what we were talking about, yesterday? Perry. Yeah. Those numbers. Yeah. Uh, th those numbers are included. That's what this is. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. That's all I want to send. All right. Yeah. And can you, can you have that to me by tomorrow morning? Is that too much pressure? What time tomorrow morning? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good question. I, I got to get this in, and I don't even know that answer. Uh, All right, I'll, 10 a.m. I'll just, I'm just gonna, I'll just take out our mistakes and send you what I got here. Okay, uh, that that works. I I probably won't get this in myself until around 10 a.m. So no, if I if I have to just delete some pages, it's easy. Okay. Yeah, just the just the high level stuff. I think is 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 perfect for this purpose. I, I just need uh, a motion to adjourn, a second and fate, uh, second and uh, all in. I move to right. adjourn. John I second. All right, you, you guys are jumping too much at the second. <laughs> uh -huh. no, it's 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 a it's a holiday today. We're we, we're an hour earlier than usual. This is great. No, I'm on vacation too. <laughs> all right. All right. Um, who, I'm who not getting more gone. Who was the second? Thank Second. It was one of them, but I don't. Yeah. I don't. I don't care if you write me down. Two and two a. We can't even make a decision on that one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Sam Milton. Uh, yes. Actually, I, I'm doing this. I'm doing this job for you, but if you want to ask everybody about uh, uh, all in favor. Oh yes. Are we all in favor? All in favor. Uh, yes. 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 Uh, yeah. 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 <laughs> Thank you, Perry. Right. Appreciate the nudges. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, uh, okay.